Hey there, good morning. It's Wednesday. This is the Three Fedora Newsroom. Why on earth is it dark out here? I have no idea. Um, oop, hang on. Good morning, Three Fedora Newsroom. Oh, hello. Oh, that's it. Okay, interesting concept. Yeah, of course I'm going to go with it. I'm a professional. All right, thank you very much. Uh, so that was the production department, and they feel like this is our uh, last show before the total eclipse. So we're going to give you the effect of a total eclipse, sort of. I'm going to cheat because I brought a pen light. So a total, total eclipse. This is the sun representing the sun. This is representing the moon. Here we have the earth. This heart, here, maybe I can do it. Oh, yeah. The sun and, uh, and the moon will pass in, in between. And then you'll get Totala, right? Okay, so let's talk uh, Let's talk eclipses. By the way, Natalie and I drove all the way down to South Carolina in 2017 to see the one down there. It was fantastic. We'll be going up to Vermont to see this one. So the moon travels at a speed of 1,390 miles per hour. It will land in between the sun and the earth and we'll have darkness uh there is never a total eclipse at the north or south pole and there's a canadian astronomer jw campbell who traveled around the world for 50 years trying to see 12 different eclipses but ran into overcast skies every time uh fingers crossed that that doesn't happen to all of us uh on monday we're talking about monday the moon is slowly moving away from the earth. What does this mean? That in a million years, there will be no more solar eclipses. Yet another good reason to get out and see this one. Solar, solar eclipses reoccur in the same place only once every 360 to 410 years. Another reason to go see this one. What will happen to the animals during the eclipse? People talk about this all the time. Will owls wake up? Will roosters start to crow? Will night migrating birds start migrating? Will other birds, day birds, go to sleep? Who knows? Um, and we'll notice a change in temperature, they say. Um, so that, I believe, is all we have time for. But today's weather is cloudy, maybe some weather rolling in, and in the 30s. You know what I say? Get outside, do sun fun, and on April 8th, go to the eclipse. I'm out. Bye-bye.